Today we're going to learn all about the ocean. Are you ready to learn about the ocean and make some art? <laughs> Me too. Do you know any words that are related to the word ocean? Hmm, what are some ocean words? What might you find in the ocean? Or see if you were swimming? Those are great ideas. Yeah, so some ocean words are sea, salt water, coral, starfish, shark. There is there are squids and seaweed. There are clams, shrimp, and lots of fish. I know. Let's pretend to be sharks. Ready? Let's pretend together. Can you be a shark too? <laughs> Good job. All right. All right, let's do our warm up together. Wave them around, up so high. Hands down low, touch your toes. Wiggle and giggle, see how it goes. Hands to the side. Now let's clap. Clap and smile in a snap. Hands up front, then back in. Ready to learn, let's begin. How many sharks do you see? Ready? One, two, three, one more. Four sharks. There are four sharks. Wow, good job. Let's look at a reef diagram. This is called a coral polyp. On a coral, there is a tentacles, there's a mouth, a body, so many different parts. And coral reefs are formed of colonies of coral polyps held together with calcium carbonate. Isn't that crazy? All of this happening in our oceans. All right, let's head on over to the art studio where we're going to draw a shark and we're going to make some fish art. Let's draw a shark for the ocean. Let's write the word shark. We're gonna draw a nice big uppercase letter S. Sh, 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 shark. That sh sound is an SH combo. So we'll draw an H for a sh, sh, sh sound. Then R, and that's an A, R, sh, R, sh, R, K, K, K. Sh, R, K, sh, R, K. And shark begins with the letter S. Let's draw our shark. Big long line across the page. We'll curving line down. One line up. Back up and cord towards the top. Two curving lines for the tail. And a curving line to connect. Let's add a curving line on the top for the dorsal fin. Curve back in and connect. 
We'll add a fin with a letter V. Create three curving lines for the gills. And we'll add a little eye and color it in black, leaving just a little white. Now our shark is missing something in its mouth. Do you know what that is? Yeah, some teeth. Let's add teeth. And then you can color in your shark using your favorite colors and art mediums. Just like that, your shark is done. All right, let's make a fish for the ocean. I'm so excited. Let's grab a color to draw. Let's draw with purple crayon today. Let's draw a big curvy line up and over. Then we're gonna draw another one. We're gonna make the belly for fish. There we go. Up, around. One line up and over. One line down. And we're gonna draw two lines out. We're gonna draw a line down at the back for the tail. At the top, we're gonna draw a line diagonal and one that the bottom, two diagonal lines, one for the dorsal fin and one for the one underneath. Let's draw a line down to the body to the body to make the fins. Let's add lines in the tail. In the fins. Let's Draw three curving lines for gills. So cute. On the face, let's draw a circle for a fish's eye. And in that circle, we'll draw another circle. So cute. And then let's color in the dark of the eyes with our color, leaving that circle white. And then let's give the fish a nice little smile. So nice. All right, let's paint our fish in. We'll dip our brush in some water first and let's grab a light color. I'm gonna do yellow. And we're gonna first do a light color like yellow for the body. And then we're gonna do finger painting for our scales. Then 
we will just, we're not gonna rinse your brush, we're gonna dip it right into the purple or our fin color. And we'll paint her fins. And our fins everywhere, tail and fins. Let's take her finger. Let's pick another color. We're gonna pick some. I'm gonna do orange. We're gonna pick our first color and we're gonna add fingerprints around to make our scales. Then I'm gonna dip my bright finger in another color. I'm gonna do blue. And then we can dip our finger in another color. I'm gonna do purple and add purple scales. Now let's make her waves. We'll dip her brush in water, then dip it in blue. Now let's add wavy lines around our background. just like that your fish living in the ocean is done good job you did great hi my friend thank you so much for learning with me today I am so glad that you joined me you made my heart full I hope to see you in our next learning Venture together, parents and teachers. For more art ideas for kids, visit artastickids.com. Or for teachers, you can go and find art lesson plans at the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store by searching Ms. Artastic on TPT. Links below and in the description of the video. See you next time!